Here we go. Wait, I'm missing something. Ah, oh, much better. Ah, oh, was that worth it? Was that worth the trouble to do that bit? I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, let's move forward. Okay, let's hop right in. You guys already know what we're doing. Poor Scump. A very special book. Really excited to dive into this. Probably one of my favorite reviews I'm gonna do thus far. It's so fun. I have a lot to say about it, so please stick around. Please watch video. Um, maybe share it on your stories. I do everything on Instagram. What a fantastic read. I've never laughed in a book. I've never out loud laughed from a text, even though I say LOL. Um, I've never laughed in some of the funniest movies on earth. I've never laughed in my life until I read this book. There was something uniquely different about this book than the film. And that is the fact that it lets you dive into the mind of Forrest, get that and build that interpersonal relationship that you don't get in the film. And that's not to say that the most lovable film in history isn't already as personal as it can get. But if you think that the film does it the best, well, you might wanna think again. When I first opened up this book, I found myself rereading the first 10 to 30 pages each paragraph over and over. And that's because Winston Groom took the time and the effort to write this book in the way that Forrest Gump would, would talk, in the way his, his thoughts would come about. When I tell you that the dramas and the adventures that come from the film are only half as interesting as the ones from the book, I mean it. So with that being said, let's hop right into the synopsis, the trailer that I will cut for this. And, uh, and afterward, I kind of want to talk about the three things that I think the film did wrong. So with that being said. Hello. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, a six foot six towering giant at 242 pounds is the very definition of a positive attitude. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. Written by Winston Groom, Forrest Gump is the most unbelievably believable adventure story of our time. He goes from playing in the championship football game. And they is Forrest Gump, coach. To fighting in the Vietnam War to playing China in the largest ping pong tournament and all the way to being launched into outer space with an orangutan and even becoming a nationally loved pro wrestler. Forrest is endlessly pushed into adventure after adventure. And when asked what he thinks about it all, he almost always has one thing to say. Congratulations, how do you feel? I gotta pay. Forrest's adventures are more than just being grand, but showcasing how pure innocence and love for the way things are in this world can connect even the most oddity of characters. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. As we follow along, we are reminded of our own innocence. And when push comes to shove, Forrest will always do the right thing, even if it means saving America's most hated enemy or telling the truth to the love of his life. Forrest is a reminder that our perceived weaknesses can at times be our greatest strength. And like he says, just because you're an idiot, don't make you stupid. Wow, what a book. So let's jump right into the three biggest mistakes I think the film made. And that starts with number one. Casting Tom Hanks to play Forrest Gump was wrong if you're going based off the character. In fact, if you were gonna cast someone to play Forrest Gump, well, there's only one person that comes to my mind. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, um, uh, oh man, my name is Earl. My name is Randy Hickey and I love to smell my shoes. Randy, Ethan Supley. You know, Tom Hanks was still an incredible addition to the film and quite frankly was a staple to why it did so well. And they needed that big name to sell it, I'm, I'm sure. So uh, obviously take some of these with a grain of salt. The number two thing that I think they did wrong with this film was Lieutenant Dan, who's this uh, a son of a father who died on the front line and his father before him. And it's this long line of, of, of just being this military character. In fact, in the book, Lieutenant Dan is a scholar in his philosophy of everyone has their path in their life and you should live your life to the fullest because everything is 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 meant to happen the way it is and you just you you roll with the punches. And so that's who Lieutenant Dan is. He's this lovable character who sees 
sees Forrest as this entity of just positivity and he's always a light for Forrest. But, you know, then he loses his legs and you get to follow this character arc of, of a man who found purpose in the nothingness of his life and uh, who went to college and had all these philosophies to losing his legs and having nothing, becoming a bum on the streets, doesn't believe in anything anymore, thinks that life is a whole bunch of shit, and the one thing that he has is Forrest, because Forrest is a light for him, and you get to follow that character arc. And number three, of course, is leaving out the orangutan. Now, look, I know that, I don't, well, I actually don't know the budget of the film, but creating an Apollo 13 uh, storyline to Forrest Gump, I'm sure wasn't ideal, but there was an orangutan, and the orangutan was Forrest Gump Gump's buddy throughout the rest of the book. The orangutan is the one who 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 stays with Forrest the entire time and helps him start the Bubblegum Fish Comp. So there's just so many differences from the book to the film. And if you read it, you'll understand that the adventures in this book are just otherworldly. So coming up next, we have The Book Thief. Super excited to read this, super excited to dive in. I'm already 100 pages in. Um, if you guys are enjoying these, please go to my Instagram. If you're watching these on my Instagram, awesome, but um, posting this one to Facebook. So please go to my Instagram, uh, Brandon Smith underscore four. Beautiful. Thanks for watching and um, please read a book.